The objective of the second Ladoco trial was to determine whether colchicine 0.5 milligrams daily could reduce the risk of cardiovascular events in patients with stable coronary disease. It was a placebo-controlled, double-blind, uh, event-driven trial. Uh, it enrolled participants who had been had proven coronary disease uh, as long as they didn't have uh, had been stable for at least six months and didn't have advanced renal disease, heart failure, or, or severe valvular disease. Those patients who accepted were given a 30-day open-label trial of colchicine, and then those who uh, were tolerant had remained clinically stable and willing to proceed were then randomised to active or placebo arms. In all, there were over 5,500 patients who uh, were randomised into this trial, and they were followed for a median of 29 months, ranging between 12 and 64 months. And in that time, we found that the primary endpoint of cardiovascular death, myocardial infarction, ischemic stroke and the need for revascularization was reduced by 30%. Now the effect of therapy was seen to occur early, within a year, and then it continued to accrue over time. Furthermore, the therapy didn't just affect the primary outcome, but also the key secondary outcome of MACE, that is cardiovascular death, ischemic stroke and myocardial infarction. And even more so, it affected significantly the, the risk of uh, revascularization and myocardial infarction. We think collectively that these results really strongly support the routine use of uh, colchicine for secondary prevention, particularly given the good tolerance and safety of the therapy. Less than 10% of participants in the trial ceased because of medic uh, intolerance to medication. And the serious side effects which concerned us, infection, cancer, neutropenia and myotoxicity were decidedly rare and no different to placebo.